Morning KGs. How are you today? It's good that everyone is doing fine. We will have another topic or another lesson in math. But be before we proceed again, let's do our drill first. But try to tell me the number as fast as you can. What number is this? 63. Next, 54. Very good. Next one is 75. This is number 50. Next one, 70. What number is this? Yes, it's 60. This is number 72. This one is 68. And the last one, 67. Very good, KG. Last time, we discussed about the two dimensional shapes. We were able to analyze, compare, and describe each two dimensional shape. Today, we will try to analyze and compare the three dimensional shapes. But before that, let us review first the different solid figures. What is this again? This is a cube. This one is? Yes, a cylinder. How about this solid figure? It is a sphere and a cone. Very good, KG. Before we uh, start with our lesson, let's, I will give you or I will introduce you different words because we will use this in our um, activity in analyzing and comparing the solid figures. First one is flat surface. When teacher said flat surface, this side, we will look at this side and then the other side. It means it's really flat. So there is nothing on it. What word is this again? Or this figure describes flat surface. Again, it's, it is flat. Next one is slide. When we say slide, this figure, figure if we will move it to the other side, you can easily slide it. Again, what word is that? Yes, it is a slide. Next one is stack. When we say stack, we can put a solid figure above the other one. For example, this one. This cube can stack as well as the cylinder. Why? Because it has a flat surface. Again, what word is this? Stack. Next one is roll. This solid figure, this spear can roll. Roll means it can turn over and over and over again. Again, what word is this? Roll. Very good, KG. So again, this is flat surface. This one, it can slide, this stack, and this one, roll. Okay, let's proceed now with our lesson today. So on page 756, let's do the first one, example number one. We will look first on the picture on the left, this picture on the left. After that, we will draw a circle around the objects that can stack as well. Again, look at this picture that can stack on the left and then try to figure it out which of the following figures or which of the following solid figures can stack also. Again, remember KG, solid figure can stack if it has a flat surface. Okay, let's analyze number one. This cube, do you think the cube can stack? Yes or no? Yes. Why? Because if you put this cube on top of this figure, 
it can stay there because this cube has flat surface so this cube can stack as well how about the next figure how about this spear do you think spear can stack no why kg because if you put this solid figure on top of this one it will not stay on top what will happen yes it will just roll and it will just fall so this solid figure cannot stack how about the cylinder look at the surface of the cylinder it, it also has flat surface so if you will put the cylinder on top of the solid figure it can stack so this is this solid figure also can stack did you get it kg very good let's have number two look at the rolling solid figure on the left this one then draw a circle around the other solid figures that can roll now again look at the solid figure this sphere can roll now look at these figures which of the following can roll also do you think cube can roll no because cube has flat surface which if you will roll it it will not turn over and over it will not how about this cone yes the cone can roll how about the cylinder yes as well the cylinder also can roll again kg remember it can roll if when you move that solid figure it can turn over and over again did you get it very good so let's try another one next page please okay let's have number three look at the sliding solid figure on the left this one this solid figure can slide this cylinder can slide and then draw a circle around the other solid figures that can slide again kg what do you mean by slide yes this solid figure if you move it from this side going to the other side it can slide meaning it will move now let's analyze this one the spear do you think the spear can slide yes or no maybe some of you will tell me yes teacher it can slide because it can move but this this spear kg doesn't slide it just roll okay again this spear doesn't slide it just roll how about the cube yes the cube can slide how about the cone yes as well the cone has slide now you will ask me teacher why the cone why the spear doesn't slide but it moves yes it moves but the movement is rolling remember the solid figure that has flat surface this flat surface only slide got it kg again those solid figure that has or that have flat surface can slide so this is spear can you see the flat surface in the spear no because this spear doesn't slide it just roll did you get it kg very good now let's proceed to number four look at the stack figures on the left this 
and then draw a circle around the other solid figures that stack. Let's analyze each solid figure. The cylinder. Do you think the cylinder can stack? Yes. Why KG? Because it has flat surface. And if you put the solid figure to another solid figure that stack, it will stay on top. How about the spear? No, it won't stack. What will happen again if you put this spear on top of the other one? It will just roll. Very good, KG. How about the cone? Do you think the cone can stack? Yes, as well. Why? Because it has a flat surface. And when you put this cone on top of the other one, it cannot, it will stack. But remember, KG, only the cone, you can put it above to the other solid figure. But you cannot put a solid figu figure on top of the cone. Why, KG? Look at this one. One more. You cannot stack or you cannot put a solid figure on top of the cone because it doesn't have flat surface. Just imagine. For example, this cube, you will put it on top of the cone. What will happen? It will just fall. Okay? Remember that because the cone only has one flat surface. Now, let's proceed to number five. Draw a circle around the solid figure that rolls and stack. Again, a solid figure that rolls and stacks. First one, the spear. Do you think the spear can roll? Yes, spear can roll. But do you think spear can stack? No, spear cannot stack. So, do you think this is the answer? No, because teacher said both stack and roll. Now, how about the cube? Do you think the cube can roll? No. How about, do you think the cube can stack? Yes, but again, teacher said both to roll and stack. So this is not the answer also. How about the cylinder? Do you think the cylinder can roll? Yes. Why, KG? Why do you think the cylinder can roll? Because of this surface. Meaning, if you will move it or if you roll it, it will turn over and over again. Now, how about do you think the cylinder can stack? Yes, as well. Why, KG? Because the cylinder has flat surface. So, if you will put the cylinder on top of the other figure, it will stay there. So, what is the answer now? Both roll and stack, what solid figure? Yeah, it's a cylinder. Very good, KG. Now, let's have another number, number six. Draw a circle around the solid figures that slide and roll. Again, it can slide and roll. Now, let's see number one, picture number one. The cylinder. Do you think the cylinder can slide? Yes. If you move it from the other side to the other side, it can slide. How about, do you think the cylinder can roll also? Yes. The cylinder can, can also roll. Next, how about the cone? Do you think the cone can slide? Yes, it is because cone has flat surface, so it can slide. 
How about, do you think this light, this solid figure can roll? Yes, of course. This cone can roll. If you move it, So this cone can also roll and slide. How about the last one, KG, the cube? Do you think the cube can slide? Yes, it can slide. How about, do you think the cube can roll? No, the cube cannot roll. So what are the two solid figures then that can slide and roll? So we have the cylinder and the cone. Very good, KG. Now let's have number seven. So you will draw a circle around the solid figures that can stack and slide. Again, that can stack and slide. This solid figure, the cube. Do you think the cube can stack? Yes, it can. Why? Because it has a flat surface. Now, do you think the cube can slide? Yes, also. Because it can move from this side, going to this side, because it has a flat surface as well. So, the cube can also slide. Now, let's have the cylinder. Do you think the cylinder can stack? Do you think if you put the cylinder on top of the cube, it can stack? Yes. Why KG again? Because it has flat surface. Do you think the cylinder can slide? Yes, of course. Because it has flat surface. So this cylinder can both stack and light. How about the next figure, the spear? Do you think the spear can stack? No, because if you will put the spear on top of the other solid figure, it will just roll. Do you think the, the uh, spear can slide? No, because the spear only rolls. Very good, KG. So what are the solid figures that can both stack and slide? So we have cube and cylinder. Now let's have number eight. Draw a circle around the solid figure that does not stack or slide. Again, does not stack or slide. This spear. Do you think the spear does not stack? Yes. Do you think the spear does not slide? Yes, also. So this spear do, does not stack and slide. How about the cylinder? Cylinder can stack and cylinder can slide also. How about the cone? The cone can stack. The cone can slide, the cone can roll or slide. So again, what solid figure can stack and slide? This is stack and slide, cylinder and cone. How about which solid figure does not stack and slide? So you have the spear. Very good, KG. Now, let's have the next page. For this page, I will just read the instructions and you try to do it alone. After that, we will check your work. Let's have number nine. Look at the rolling object on the left. Then draw a, a circle around the other objects that can roll. Again. Look at the rolling object on the left and then draw a circle around the object, objects that can roll. Okay, your time starts now. Okay, let's have number 10. 
Look at the sliding object on the left. This one. Then draw a circle around the other objects that can slide. Look at these figures. Which of the following can slide also? So time starts now. Okay, very good, KG. Let's have number 11. You will draw two solid figures that can stack on each other. Again. Two solid figures that can stack on each other. You think of two solid figures, then you draw figure that can stack on each other. Okay, now, time starts now. Okay, let's have number 12. Draw a circle around a cube and then explain why the other solid is not cube. Okay, just for this one kg, just just draw a circle around the cube. Very good kg. Okay, let's check if your answer is correct. Okay, for number nine, these solid figures can roll also. For number ten, these solid figures can slide. For number 11 kg, you can draw cube or a cylinder. For example, you have the cube here. And then one more solid figure, a cylinder on top. Or a cylinder first, then a cube on top. Or it can be also a cube. Then you can have a cone on top. Next, for number 12, which is a cube here? Yes, this one is the cube. Okay, did you get it correctly? Very good, KG. Again, what did we study today? We were able to analyze the different solid figures or the three-dimensional shapes. The cube, sphere, cylinder, and cone. So remember this KG, the cube can slide, can stack, but cannot roll. The sphere cannot slide, cannot stack, but can roll. The cone can slide. For this one KG, it can also stack, but just one side only. Okay, just one Sight. It can stack also, but only the one side. Why? Because the cone has only one flat surface. Next, the cone can roll also. For the cylinder, we have here, it can slide. It can stack and it can roll. Very good, Katie. Okay, for more uh, videos, you can watch this one in YouTube. Thank you very much.